Hi there! Today I'm going to show you how to take your pattern alpha sets and turn them into a typable OTF font using Adobe Photoshop and an extension called Font Self. So let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is check the size of your alpha set letters and we've got to make sure that they are no larger than 1000 pixels because if your letters are larger than this and you try to save this as a font it's going to end up crashing your computer it will just continue to spin and it won't save so the best way to fix that is make sure before you get started that they are the proper size so i'm just going to open all these letters and I'm going to just check the size of these by going to tools and adjust size if you're on a PC it may be a little bit different I'm on a Mac so I'm not you'll just have to find how to check your size of your letters on a PC if it's not the same okay so these are saved as 12 by 12 inches and if I click on this and change it to pixels, you'll see that this is 3,600 pixels and this will definitely crash my computer if I try to save this as a font. So I'm just going to click off of that and then I'm gonna select all of these letters. I'm just gonna select all and go back to tools and adjust the size and I'm going to change them all to 1,000 pixels. Now, once all of those have been saved at a smaller size, now I'm going to go and open up a blank artboard in Photoshop. If you haven't already done that, just go to new file and create a file. And it doesn't really matter how big the artboard is, just any size will do at this point. I'll just stick with a 12 by 12 inch size because that's what I always work with. So now we're gonna go to file and scripts. And then we're gonna select load files into stack. And now here you're going to click on browse and you're going to locate where your files are saved, your alpha set has been saved. And then you're just gonna select all of the letters and click on open. And they'll pop up right here and you just click okay. And now you're gonna give it just a few minutes for it to upload probably not a few minutes a few seconds for it to upload all of these letters now my letters have been uploaded let me find where is my layer here's my layers panel now you'll see each letter has been saved on an individual layer and so here you can go ahead if you want to and change the name of each letter if you don't have them saved as letters that they are this will just make it a little bit easier when you pull them into the font self maker. Give me just a second and let me change all of these. I've named all my letters and this is totally optional. You can just name them once you pull them into the app or <clears throat> once you pull them into the extension. So now go to window and click on extension and click font self maker and that will open this window. So now all you're going to do is you're just going to select all of these letters and then you're going to drag them over. And so for this one, I'm just going to drag over to any character and then let it do its thing. And just click cancel on that pop up window and just wait a, a minute or two and let them import. Now you can see this has been imported and just go through and double check and make sure your letters match with the letter that it says below. And it looks like all of mine do. So now I'm just going to click save and then give your font a name. You can name it whatever you want. So I'm just gonna name this one Glitter Aqua and then click on okay. And I'm gonna click save. And that saves my font. And now I can open the saved font and I can install it. Just you'll click on install. And then now this font should be installed. So let's click off here and let's see if we can find it. So the name of the font was Glitter Aqua. Let me just type that. Glitter Aqua Regular. There it is. And now it is a typable OTF font. And now I've opened this up in Illustrator because I want to show you the difference 
between a image type font that we just made with a pattern image and then a vector type font that I showed you how to make in Illustrator. So this is the glitter aqua font and then I'm just going to let me just make a copy and let me grab my heart font that I made the other day. Let's see. There it is. This is the heart font that I made in Illustrator. I have a video on that. And the glitter font, it's fine for most projects, but if you try to print something very large, it's going to start to get pixelated because it's an image. It's not a vector. Now, if you created a vector font in Illustrator, you can size this as big as you want and you'll never lose any of that quality because it is a vector file and not an image. So if you zoom in, you can see the difference between an image file and a vector file. And you can see this glitter font that we just made, it starts to lose some quality. It gets a little bit fuzzy where this one is nice and sharp no matter what size you make it. So just depending on what your projects are and what your needs for a font is, you may want to consider doing vector fonts instead of the image fonts. But if you're just doing small t-shirt projects and things like that, and you're not going to put a huge letter on your projects, then the image fonts will be fine. That is how you make a image font using Photoshop and Font Self Maker. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.